Yo, what's up guys, Old School Dan here, and I have a question for you. Do you know anything about what Mike Menster had to say about flexible dieting? Because it was said that during the Olympia, I, 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 can't, I think I clearly remember, it might have been the Olympia or the Mr. Universe or one of the contests. He was eating ice cream and pancakes, and he still got second place. And this is a time, 1980, I think it was around 1980 or something like that. This was a time and place where people didn't believe that eating refined carbohydrates like sugars, you know, popped, you know, Tom Platt used, actually used to eat Pop-Tarts. He taught, he had a talk with my men, Mike Menser and, and Mike told him, eat more carbs, man. Don't worry. You're still going to be shredded. You're still going to be dry as fuck. And Tom Platt was a little like skeptical, but Tom Platt was like, fuck it. So he started eating Pop-Tarts and all the carbs and he still, and he, if anything, he looked twice as full and he was still really ripped. So with that being said, in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about who Mike Menster is. Then I'm going to teach you what flexible dieting is as well. Then I'm going to talk about Mike Menster's personal thoughts on flexible dieting, the subject itself. All right, so let's boogie. All right, so who is Mike Menser? Have you heard about the 1980 Mr. Olympia, the most controversial Mr. Olympia ever? You know, there's a contest in 1980, and the, it's the Mr. Olympia. Arnold had Arnold had taken a couple years off of training, then he came back to compete. He came back to compete after I think after years of taking off from training, and then he had only a couple months to prepare, and then he ended up winning the contest, um, beating Chris Dickerson, Boyer Co., Mike Menster. Frank Zane, <coughs> I, I can't remember anybody else, but beat all those guys. Those guys probably spent years preparing for that competition while he, I think he only took about, maybe about a year. I don't know how long he took to prepare, but it was a short amount of time. Also, Mike Mensah was a big advocate of the high-intensity training, along with Arthur Jones. Another thing, in 1978, he won the Mr. Universe with a perfect 300 score. He's also very philosophical when it comes to bodybuilding. You should check out some of his seminars or read some of his articles and books because this guy was very intelligent. All right, so now you know a little bit about Mike Menser. Let's move on to what flexible dieting is. All right, so what is flexible dieting? You have may seen this stuff on Instagram, like a, a lot of popular stuff. You would see like just bodybuilders eating like pizza, candy, donuts, chips, and still looking lean as fuck. Other than the fact that they're using, they're probably using trend. Anyways, flexible dieting is a type of dieting that is doesn't have a lot of restriction in it. It's pretty free. It's ninety percent clean food, you know, micronutrient dense foods like you know rice, beans, broccoli, um, chicken. You know, you're still getting all your all those foods that are micronutrient dense, and ten percent of it is dirty. Now the other 10% can be whatever you want. It can be pizza, candy, chips, burgers, fries, pies, whatever. But the number one rule is that you must be hitting your macros perfectly on point. If you want to be getting the same results as somebody who's just doing straight up clean eating, like 100% clean eating, the only flaw that comes with flexible dieting is I feel this is this is my opinion that it lacks um, all the necessary vitamins and minerals that you would be getting from the regular diet because when you substitute 10% of your diet for dirty foods and I'm talking about those processed fatty refined sugary foods like that shit's not good for you that shit slows you down physically and that, shit slows you, that, and that shit slows you down mentally. All right, so that's basically flexible dieting. Eat whatever you want as long as you're hitting your macros, 90% clean, 10% dirty. Now, let's move on to Mike Menser's thoughts on flexible dieting because, like I said earlier, during one of his contests, he was eating ice cream almost every day and eating pancakes three times a day, and he still won second place. All right, so here's what Mike Menser has to say about flexible dieting. One last word about low-carbohydrate diets. They do work, that is certain. 
but any diet where you drastically reduce consumption of one of the macronutrients will result in weight loss. You can achieve weight loss more safely and just as effectively by reducing consumption of all three macronutrients slightly. And if you're on a well-balanced diet and have a caloric deficit in your daily budget, it will not hurt your weight loss efforts to eat refined carbohydrates such as ice cream or candy bars. Actually, the terms refined and unrefined don't refer to the carbohydrates, as the chemical formula for most carbs we consume is the same, but the food in which the carbs are contained. If all we consumed was predominantly refined foods, we would end up with an imbalanced diet, since most refined foods contain few minerals and vitamins. But if we're on a well-balanced diet, it doesn't really matter where we get our carbohydrates since they all end up as glucose by the time they get to our bloodstream anyway. The last two weeks before the 1979 Mr. Olympia, I was consuming more than 200 grams of carbs a day. I had pancakes three times a week and ice cream almost every day. I didn't do this sort of thing recklessly, however, I kept my caloric intake below 2000 and was very active. The result? Even though I placed second, I was generally considered to be the most defined competitor in the contest. So much for low carbohydrate diets. So this just proves that Mike Benzer was, should I say, ahead of his time? I mean, I, I don't know what year If It Fits Your Macros came out, but a bodybuilder doing If It Fits Your Macros. Like, guys would see Mike Benzer eating ice cream and they'd get jealous and they'd be like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Like... He's got a contest in two weeks. He's eating ice cream. Are you serious? And then he ended up placing second place. Just pretty cool stuff. So that was what Mike Menser had to say about flexible dieting, quote unquote, if it fits your macros. With that being said, that's it for today's video. Like this video if you thought it was pretty cool. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. This is Old School Dan checking out. Peace.